Hey what is up people and welcome back to the show today I'm going to teach you how to underclock stuff stuff in the sense CPU and your GPU let me circle that again yeah so there's a little bit of points for me to say it's called the two points I guess so when you have more power you're going to be generating more heat and if you got to underclock to stay cool otherwise you got to buy some f- expensive fans and stuff so first up it's going to be your GPU underclock GPU underclock is easily achieved by these aftermarket softwares such as the MSI Afterburner, otherwise the Firestorm utility from Zotac. Otherwise, there is another one called EVGA Precision X by EVGA. Well, it's in, isn't it obvious? So, there are a lot of things, but everything has one thing in common. It's called memory clock and core clock. You're gonna get the core clock down as much as you want to depending on your needs and even the memory clock and then you want to click apply after you've done that if you don't think that you are don't want to play with this error you could also go to the power limit I'm just resetting it so go to the power limit get it down you're gonna click this you're gonna see the temperature limit also well you could set the how much of temperature you want on your graphics card and stuff so there you have it. And after this CPU GPU overclock, what the fuck? It's not overclock, it's underclock, so sorry. So for CPU underclock, Intel sucks. Yeah. I don't think so there's much of an Intel software. Well it's cause I didn't choose Intel anytime. I once had this Pentium processor I guess. So power options. So if you are using an Intel otherwise an AMD, it doesn't matter what it is this thing's gonna work on both but there's a special thing for the AMD people so just wait until the end so you're gonna go to the power control panel hardware and sound power options then there's the power server option you wanna go to change plan settings and after that you're gonna go to change advanced power saving options yeah advanced power options then it's gonna be dependent on what you're doing so you wanna go and put maximum minimum you want to put it to the equal make them equalize a little bit uh, so I'm gonna put it to 50 and system cooling policy C is for the, uh, just system cooling policy you want to set it to active or passive def- depending on your needs so I'm gonna just explain active and passive like not the English grammar stuff it's called active is gonna make you make the fan spin a bit faster and passive it's gonna make the fans a bit spin a bit lower so passive is gonna make you uh, what you call it CPU thermal throttle a little bit and after that you wanna go to PCI Express link state power management set it to off because you already gonna underclock your processor not the processor underclock your GPU with the MSI afterburner or something else but you could also want to clock it using link state power management and everything else you don't want to touch it so here's the proof underclocked like for example I'm going to put it to high power set it down to 100 and there you go 4 gigahertz so you wanna get this fiddle around a little bit and get the powerful not the powerful get the one that you want all right and yeah AMD people I think you've been waiting for this so to underclock your AMD device not device it's the processor you're gonna want to download this AMD what you call it overdrive yeah it's so it's called the overdrive so first up you're gonna go to clock and voltage then turbo core control so it's gonna be enabled to you but you could just disable it and voila it's done saying that my processor is at the temp- high temperature doesn't matter so after that you wanna play around with this core multiplier it's gonna show you the target splits depending upon what core multiplier you had chosen so I'm gonna do a decent underclock to 3.5 gigahertz so I think the voltage that's gonna be suitable for 3.5 gigahertz is gonna be 1.3 volts uh, you, you want to read this if you are new to this and click the OK and check it out it's not gonna heat that much 20 
not bad so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want me to make any more new tutorials on stuff yep on stuff please drop a comment down below and thank you for watching i'm the amazing mr potato and hakuna matata